All right, so I uh, previously recorded this video, but it ended up being like 30 minutes long, and I know most people have a five minute attention span. So we're gonna do a review on an HP all-in-one computer. And, uh, but first I just wanted to show you the setup I had previously. Um, I have a 14 inch HP laptop, which actually is under one year old, and already I had to use the warranty twice on it. Um, the hard drive went on it and uh, it wouldn't go past the boot system. So thank goodness I paid extra for the protection plan and uh, they sent me boxes to ship it in for free. I shipped it to them and they two weeks later on each incident, they shipped it back to me. Um, and so here's uh, my setup. Um, they did fix it and I recommend always buying the extra accidental a uh, guaranteed plan with accidental in case you spill shit on your screen or on your keyboard. All right, so this is my 14 inch. I do have HP products uh, like printers. And underneath that is my old Toshiba, six year old computer. So I can't stand watching YouTube on this little 14 inch screen and it's a painful experience. So I decided to check out um, an all in one computer, which is like a desktop but without the tower. And uh, HP was running a sale, and uh, it was a Labor Day sale, and I uh, found an already made one. It doesn't have the best of specs, I'll put it in the uh, description below, but uh, it uh, nonetheless uh, was under $600. It was like on sale for $569. And uh, so let's uh, check out. Now, I'm gonna show you an unboxing, and also I'm gonna show you, I purchased an extra wireless Bluetooth keyboard 300 series and wireless mouse 300 series it was an extra 20 bucks it was on sale usually it's like 25 dollars for the pair but um i highly recommend it because the keyboard that it came with was very anemic and i'll show you um as the video progresses so let's uh fast forward there we go here's by the way all the specs it had on it this was the computer let's uh try to show it to you And uh, I'm gonna hit play, there we go. It was the HP all-in-one 24-DF0130M PC. And uh, it comes with Windows 10, of course, AMD Ryzen 3 processor, AMD Radeon graphics, um, eight gigabytes of memory, 256 storage, also a one TB disk drive for storage as well. You don't generally get computers anymore with um, the CD and DVD drive. So that was actually a plus. Now this is your basic everyday, you know, search the internet, go on uh, social media, watch YouTube videos type of computer. Nothing special, it comes with a wired keyboard and mouse, which sort of sucked. So thank goodness I got the extra Bluetooth um, set for under 20 bucks on sale. Let's fast forward it to that so I could show you it. All right, this is how it came to me. By the way, soaking wet. It was left out in the rain by FedEx <laughs> without them ringing the bell. So it comes in this box and there's the wireless keyboard and mouse 300 series. And I'm gonna open the box and show you how it's packed. And it was packed decently, very well. The box was still wet, but drying off. Thank goodness it didn't damage the PC. And there you go. Now I'm gonna show you the mouse it comes with and the wireless Bluetooth one that I bought side by side. And let's get to that. So here we go. And here they are. All right, so the one on the left is the wireless Bluetooth. The one on the right is the wired one that comes with the all-in-one PC with the wired mouse. And as you can see, it's a, you know, very dinky, very thin, you know, flat looking keyboard. The keys don't pop up, um, you know, on the side view look of it. Um, they're pretty flat, you know, they're not chiclet style. I like chiclet style keys. There I am, pitter-pattering with it. Now here's the wireless Bluetooth version, and as you can see, the keys are way better. Um, it even has a little armrest or wrist rest. Um, it has a lot of function keys. Um, and there's uh, how high the keys stand out on that one, and compared to the Bluetooth, you can see the Bluetooth one is a much better version. I highly recommend you buy it. By the way, I like the tappity tap sound it makes, as opposed to the one it came with. I'm definitely a tappity tap uh, type of person when it comes to keyboards. I like that clickety click sound. Um, the first computer I ever learned on was in the 80s, was the Commodore VIC uh, 64. 
So I'm used to those chiclet style keyboards. There's the wireless mouth, mouse, nothing special. There's the wired mouse it comes with. It is bigger. And there they are side by side. And uh, yeah, and that's the mouse I have already, which actually I like better than all of them. I got it on Amazon for under 10 bucks. It's a wireless Bluetooth one. I might just uh, go back to that one. But there you go, there they are side by side. That's how it looks when it comes out of the box, the all-in-one PC. Um, it's black with like a white or silver type of metal stand. And there it is all set up. Um, and it took me like five minutes, thank goodness, to set it up. And uh, now I'm gonna show you, you know, web searching, how it sounds, um, also how it looks with YouTube. It does have a really nice high definition 1920, I believe, by 1080 screen, I'm not sure at all. I'll put in the description below. There's the speaker along the bottom. I highly recommend you attach a Bluetooth speaker to it because it's a little, you know, it's not as loud as it could be. But uh, there I am showing you, you know, the features. And I'm gonna actually show you, the, um, that's my Bluetooth speaker, by the way. That's my Flip 5 by JBL, which I highly recommend. And uh, yeah, so let's get to the video and I'll show you how it works. And uh, I'll fast forward a little, there you go. You see a little of the stuff that I'm showing you. And again, that video was way too long, way too long. And there we go. All right, let's get to it. All right, so here it is. I just set it up. And uh, I'm gonna give you a quick, by the way, if you see glare, it's because I have ring lights on right now. So uh, it really in uh, real life has no glare once I take away those ring lights. But uh, you can see the color is beautiful on this uh, high definition screen. And uh, again, there's my, uh, this is not the stock keyboard. This is the, uh, I believe it's the 300 series wireless keyboard. I'll put it in the description below with the mouse. And uh, all right, so let's uh, check out the sound. So we're gonna use the in-house Realtek speakers that it comes with. And then I'm gonna show you uh, the difference between that and my Bluetooth speaker made by JBL, which is a Flip 5. All right, and then you're gonna see like uh, how the coloring is on this. All right, so let's get started. And this is YouTube, by the way. Speakers sound pretty good. I mean, they're not the loudest, but I'll show you. Um, I'll show you now what what a Bluetooth speaker the difference. All right, so let's uh, actually let me go into here, and I'm gonna put my JBL Flip Fives on, and let's check it out with that. All right, so we'll blow it up, and here we go. So with the JBL, you know, it sounds a little louder. So if you're watching a YouTube video, I might want to recommend to you guys uh, to, you know, you can get an inexpensive Bluetooth speaker that's uh, nice and loud, at least uh, 25 watts or more. I, I find them on Amazon all the time for like 25, 30 bucks. If you don't want to spend 120 bucks on a JBL, you can do that. Um, now let's test out, um, let's test out like old school rap <laughs> to try to get some bass. All right, so I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna put the Realtek speakers on with that. So you can hear the uh, stock speakers it comes with. And let's try that. All right, 
so now let's try the difference between the uh, Bluetooth speakers so you can uh, make that decision and here we go all right so we got the flip fives on everything's on a uh, top volume actually it wasn't let me go back I screwed up let me go back to the real tech because it wasn't on full volume all right let's try it again <laughs> Alright, so now let's try our Bluetooth speakers and see if there's a huge difference. Okay, so we got the JBL Flip 5 going right now. So as you can see, I mean, it's, it really, I mean, sounds a hell of a lot better with Bluetooth speakers, but I mean, I still give the regular speakers that actually are along the bottom of the screen a good review. All right. So, um, my verdict, I think this is a very good computer, um, for basic web browsing, YouTube, email, um, going on message boards, you know, just your basic stuff, social media, uh, gaming is out. It doesn't have uh, high enough specs. Um, the screen has a nice color, um, very colorful. It's not faded. You can see the uh, colors are just actually, actually, they pop. They really pop. My suggestion, get the uh, wireless Bluetooth keyboard and get the, uh, you know, the set. You can get it for under uh, 25 bucks usually when it's on sale. Um, and yeah, I highly recommend this computer. I'm actually enjoying it. I like it. I think it's a... Uh, Working good, as a matter of fact, just for the heck of it, let's see how fast we can get the browser going. I'm going to just go on Amazon really fast, and let's go on Amazon. You can see how fast that pulled that right up. I mean, instantaneously. Look how fast that was. That was lightning quick, and you can see it uh, has a good look to it, right? There we go. All right, so uh, that's my total uh, review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it does a good job at basic stuff. Um, it's faster than most. Um, the price was right, but unfortunately, it's out of stock now. Um, I don't think they even have any chips available to make this computer anymore. Apparently, uh, there is a huge, huge, huge shortage of computer chips. And the problem is, is, is that they don't uh, have enough uh, computers for the consumers out there. The car, oh, what just happened here? Okay, <laughs> we just went on something else. Um, yeah, they, they don't even have enough for cars. Um, there's a huge computer shortage of all the components, the chips, the GPU, everything. So my suggestion to you guys is to actually, if you see a computer ready-made, grab it. Because it could take months. If you order a custom-made computer, it could take actually months before you actually get it shipped to you. HP is notorious for that. They do, uh, situ you know, they have situations like that all the time where they don't ship out your thing right away. It could take months, even though they tell you, oh, in two weeks, you'll get your computer. Get a ready-made one. Um, if it's on sale, even better. Uh, grab one uh, if you see a sale because there's going to be a shortage on computers pretty soon. Even car companies having are having to close their factories down because there's not enough computer components to make the products. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed my video and my review and uh, what accessories to get. By the way, you can make sure you upgrade to the two-year accidental protection. Unfortunately, they don't have three-year with accidental protection, but I would at least get that. And then when that expires, um, renew it, like right before it expires, renew it for another year. Even though you won't get accidental, at least it'll be covered for three years. They only cover these computers up to three years, and then you're shit out of luck. So um, with the um, experience I've had with HP, compute, you know, my last HP laptop, which is uh, retired down there, 
um, I would suggest you definitely warranty up on these. Um, they're not made like they're used to, trust me. All right, guys, so long. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you uh, all soon.